this might end up being one of the most helpful videos about learning Quasar. Now, if you go to the Quasar docs and jump into the tools section, you'll notice there's this playground part at the bottom here. And basically, this allows you to very quickly get a Quasar environment up and running inside your browser. And my personal favorite one to use is StackBlitz, but a lot of people also like using CodeBen and JS Fiddle. I wouldn't use Ken Code Sandbox anymore because it does tend to be a bit slower than StackBlitz. So I'm going to go to StackBlitz Vite, and this is going to allow me to demonstrate my problem to other Quasar developers. So you'll see that this opens up, and since I'm logged in already, it actually does a whole bunch of extra little things to make my layout look good, to get my layout how I like it. Now, if I can go Control P and look up Index Page, and that's the index page of this whole app. So now we've got a Quasar app up and running, and you can easily reproduce the problems that you're having and share it with us. Now, the way that you do this is by clicking on the fork button first. So make sure as soon as you open this up, you click on fork, give that a second. And now essentially you've got your own copy of this project that you can share with us. So now usually what I would do is I would get everything inside of the page, get rid of it and add a little bit of a comment inside of there. Get rid of this section as well. Save it and then you're good to go. You can basically just start coding and then share that example with us. And to share it, you just click share, copy, and then if you paste that into Discord, we can very easily help you if there's something up and running. And I can't stress this enough, if you give us a replication of the problem that you're having, we can come in here and very quickly, um, coders are very good at solving problems when they've got an environment set up and ready for them to dig into. And it actually makes it fun for us to try and help you. I know for myself, if I had five um, of these StackBlitz environments ready to go, I would love to go through them all and solve those problems. And this is coming from someone, um, you know, who's a more advanced Quasar developer that wants to help people. If you can do this for me, if you can do this for the other developers, we will want to help you. But if you ask a question that's quite vague, then chances are uh, we'll either ask you to create a reproduction or we might actually just end up ignoring your question because a lot of us are actually doing work throughout the day and we'll just have a look at Discord, you know, whilst we're doing work. Um, and just you know, answer a couple of questions that we can here and there. And those that help us more are much more likely to get their questions answered. So hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.